So from our book over in the forest, the back of the book had lots of animal facts. So I want to go over some facts with you. Some of them are really interesting. So first we'll talk about beavers. Beavers are large, sleek, aquatic rodents with flat tails and big bushy fur. So that's pretty cool. They can swim, they have flat tails, and they have fur. They eat tree bark, leaves, roots, and water plants. And what they do is they eat all the bark off of sticks, and then they use those sticks to build the lodges or their homes that are in a dome shape or a, a rounded top shape. Um, they've got big teeth that could gnaw on that wood, and they carry timber between their teeth, and they carry mud with their front paws, and that's how they make their dams or their homes. The pond around their lodges protect them from predators, and they give them access to food during the wintertime. Um, they have babies that are called kits, between one and four babies, and both parents care for the babies or the kits, um, and they usually stay with their parents for two years. The next animal are the deer. So the deer, they are similar to cows in that they have four stomachs. They can eat and graze a whole lot during the day and digest it later. So they might eat a whole lot and that goes into one stomach. And that's where all the acid inside your belly breaks down the food that you just ate. Well, those deer, they then cough up the food from that stomach. They chew it again and then they swallow it and it goes into the other parts. There's three other stomachs. Isn't that interesting? I would have never thought there was... Four parts of belly, stomach in there. <laughs> um, so a female deer is called a doe, and she can have one or two babies at a time. So she can have one baby or she can have twins, and they're called fawns. So once they're born, she licks them so that any predator cannot smell them. And then she puts them into a little sheltered spot, and that's called a form. So if there's more than one baby, the mother puts each baby into a separate form so that if one predator comes along to eat a baby, it won't find the other one and it will stay safe. Um, here is an opossum. It is the only marsupial in North America. So the females or the girls give birth to baby joeys. An opossum's baby is called a joey. And they can climb right into their mom's pouch where they remain or they stay for about 10 weeks. After that, they ride on their mom's back. They can eat insects, frogs, birds, snakes, small other mammals, fruits, and nuts. They sleep in hollow trees or little burrows that they've made that they can just leave at any time. They also have thumbs on each hind foot or their, their feet that are in the back. They all have thumbs that helps them to grip onto branches when they're climbing. If a predator comes along, they can play possum, which means they fall over and pretend like they're dead with their tongue hanging out and they stay absolutely still until the attacker loses interest. Isn't that funny? Have you ever heard that before? Play possum. It means roll over and play dead with your tongue hanging out and then the bad guy will go away. So funny. All right, the next one is box turtles. A box turtle can be found um, anywhere in the eastern, central, and southwest of our country, the United States. A box turtle in this story is the eastern box turtle, um, where the shell, the shell color and the skin will change with age. Baby turtles are called hatchlings, and they are more brightly colored. Box turtles can be found underneath a log that falls down or underneath the moist ground where the leaves are. They eat lots of animals and vegetables, and they can live up to be 80 years old. Isn't that crazy? A box turtle can live to be 80. Wow. This is a turkey. It's a wild turkey. Um, the girl turkeys, the females, are smaller than the males, and they have dull feathers. So the boys or the males will gobble with a mating call that can be heard a whole entire mile away. And the females, the girls, can lay eggs on the ground in a little area that kind of dips down, and they line it or they put around it grass and leaves. And when their babies are born, they're called poults, remember from the story? And after a few days, their poults learn to take care of themselves, so they don't need their mom or their dad anymore. 
They can scratch the ground for seeds and berries or climb small trees to eat nuts and acorns and insects. Turkeys are very careful birds. Um, they fly or they run any, at any point when they think that they're in danger. So they get a little bit nervous. Um, they live pretty much in open areas of forests. And then at night they jump up into the trees and they relax or go to sleep in the tree branches. All right, who else do we have? Tree squirrels. Oh, we've all seen squirrels running around, right? Um, they've got bushy tails and strong back legs, powerful jaws and claws that can help them to jump up and climb. They are most active in late winter when the mating season begins. So a male or a boy squirrel leaps through the trees trying to chase a female or a girl squirrel at top speeds. The girl squirrels, Girl squirrels. <laughs> girl squirrels typically have babies from two babies all the way up to eight babies at a time. Um, they can call them kits, and they have them in a nest up in the trees. Those nests, those squirrel nests, are called drays. The tiny baby squirrel is pretty much blind and can't see, so he depends on his mother for the first six to eight weeks, up to two months. It just depends on his mom. Squirrels are usually herbivores, which means they eat nuts and seeds, but some of them will eat insects or other small mammals. All right, woodpeckers. They're mostly black and white with a splash of red on their heads, and the little red feathers up top on their heads. Um, the boy ones, or the males, usually have an extra patch of color that the girls don't have. There's lots of types of woodpeckers. Um, the ones that were in this story were called the pileated woodpeckers. They're easy to hear because they rap, 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 tap, tap, tap on trees with a strong pointed beak. Do you remember when we learned about birds, how they had either a very pointy beak or a curved beak, and that would tell us what, they, what types of things they would eat? So if it has a long pointy beak, what do you think they eat? <laughs> they eat insects. That's why they are tapping on um, the trees because they're making small holes and they're trying to get their beaks in there to find insects. Um, they can also ch chisel little uh, roost holes into trees in which they raise their young chicks. Pretty cool. All right, raccoons. Raccoons are familiar uh, animals that we've seen before. They have little, it almost looks like masks on their faces, right? They've got bushy tails that looks like they have rings around them. And the babies are called kits, and they stay with their mom for up to nine months. They are very smart, and they have a very, very sensitive sense of touch. So with their long fingers on their front paws, they can even untie a knot. So if you t accidentally tied a knot in your shoelace, a raccoon could untie it. <laughs> 